Stats may be for losers, but only for those who don't know which stats are relevant and which aren't. Most aren't, and yet I see them appear in stories all the time. My favorite stat is yards per pass play, which counts a sack as a pass play. It's net passing yards divided by attempts plus sacks. Total passing yards is for losers because teams that pass a lot are usually playing catch-up. The key is to pass when you want to, like Pittsburgh. Ben Roethlisberger is number one in that key stat, and had he not missed four games, the Steelers wouldn't be saddled with the number six seed. The four teams remaining in the playoffs all rank in the top eight in yards per pass play and in the top five in yards per pass play differential. Defensively, they all rank in the top seven in points allowed, of course, the NFL ranks defenses based on yards allowed, and as you can see, there's no correlation. Rex Grossman told me he considers third down passing efficiency a key stat. Nope. Offensively, only Carolina made the top 10. Defensively, nobody did. Troy Aikman has his own rating system and is highly regarded around the league. I don't know what his formula is, but his end result and mine are about the same. Both of us have the four finalists ranked among our top six. My higher-ranked team is 7-1 and one in this year's playoffs, both straight up and against the spread. Aikman is 6-2 and two both ways, and both of us project the same outcomes for Sunday's games, Pittsburgh and Seattle. The numbers aren't always right, but they don't lie. Only people do that. I'm Brad Palmer in Class Dismissed.